So if we could have our special guest, Ryan, come on in, that would be amazing. I want to know Ryan's opinion. Ryan, what's up, man? Not much. What's going on, brother? Whew, man. Thank you, Mueller Sports, for sponsoring this video, but more about Mueller Sports later. I am so excited to know what your thoughts are on uh, some of the changes that Speedians has been making. Because you hit me up the other day, and you were really excited to tell me something. It's coming soon. Um, I've been really wanting them to put eccentric and chains into the custom templates, so that way I can customize them and work out with them in them, because you can only do standard. So... Pretty much, you know, I've, I've been saying it and, you know, the community letting them know, like, hey, you know, can you really add this in there? Because they listen quite well. And Whitney hit me up and said, just so you know, the feature you asked about is coming soon. And I was just, like, blown away. Just the simple fact she would, like, you know, how many companies are you going to be able to go to and just truly tell them, oh, I want this added? Are they going to add it for you? Most likely not. I mean, they might in the future. Who knows? But but the way Speedians went about it, I was just absolutely mind-blown. And, you know, all the new features and everything, all the updates and everything. That, but, and like you were talking about the ring earlier, Joe, it was so slow to change that weight. Now it's just, flip, you know, so easy. Yeah, man, absolutely. You don't know you need the changes sometimes until you see them. Like for me... I was living with it. I was like, turn the weight. Like I was thinking, oh, well, this is better than me having to get up, go to the machine, change the weight. But yeah. they found a way to make it better. Yep, absolutely. It's truly game changer. Also, I just want to mention quick, you know, I've been going at it with the rower. And I didn't tell you, Joe, but I'm in love with that thing, man. That thing's awesome. Have you been using it a lot? Oh, yeah. I, I love using it. There's days where I, you know, I can't physically use it. And. I still want to use it. And so it's just like, right. it's awesome. I love the thing. Yeah, man, definitely. I, I love that fixed speed mode because you can change the, um, on the, you know, when you're doing the rowing, you can change it to harder or softer. And sometimes I get carried away with it and mm -hmm. I can't even do my back later in the week. And like, I need to chill with it because I'm doing yeah. cardio on it and the bodybuilding. I got to figure out a good way to do it just like 10 or 15 minutes and the one day i hit um levi's full got a workout before the rowing the 30 minute burner and man i'll tell you what after i was done that i would my whole shirt was just drenched yeah the rower is a great i love the fact that you don't need like i have a treadmill because i had one already but yeah. you don't need one this is no. like a one-stop shop yeah man for sure i mean i i have a little treadmill myself but i i alternate for the days i'm too sore with from the rower i just alternate to the treadmill but normally right. i keep it on like like between one and eight i haven't really ventured upon that but i've been you know you've been saying how sore you were i'm like well how high can i go it's got amazing tension on this machine on the motors mm -hmm. yeah the, the tension will truly challenge you so i'm i'm definitely gonna venture out of that eventually but I, I was just looking for the cardio aspect in it because i i train so hard just in my regular training i'm afraid to you know go too hard you know what i mean because my training lately has been next level like i didn't tell you this joe but i was doing eight i started off 80 pounds on my incline again well i'm now up to 100 pounds incline for my bench so bro it's it's because of that eccentric mood and yep. that's what's making me build because I, when I was doing the free lift, I was putting the a hundred, I did like, I think it was a hundred for, um, regular. And then I would do like 20 or 25 eccentric, you know, so I was doing 125 on the down. And I'll tell you what, I, I just think that is the big reason why I got strong so fast. Yes, I agree, man. I totally agree. Why not train smarter? Like, when you're before before we had technology like this you were forced to have a buddy maybe help you pick the weight up on the concentric and then bring it down yourself on that eccentric or something like that that was the hacks back then but now you don't need anybody to do that hack you can just train like your muscle wants you to train 
Right, exactly. And it's just like the, even the bar tilt thing as well. Like you, you just tilt it. Say you want to max out or you want to lift heavier. It's like me, I'm not maxing out bench on this thing yet. So say I, I already tried, you know, to see what I was capable of lifting. I didn't venture mm-hmm. my one, you know, one rep max, but I right. did this, just saw my capabilities and I was stronger than I thought on this. But just the fact right. you can do that is, you know, it's a beautiful thing. Right. Absolutely. Ryan, I just want to hit the comments because I, I saw we missed a couple of comments. Johnny, YouTube mentions, good to hear about the Speedian's customer service. Vitruvian does not heed their customers' input or requests. In fact, they promised a product upgrade for overhead pulling, then canceled it. Guys, first of all, Ryan has experienced Vitruvian. So we've done, uh, I think, it, at bare minimum, one video. Maybe there was two where he talked about his Vitruvian experience. And I've mentioned, and he mentioned in his video about that attachment. I myself have mentioned in many videos that I don't believe it'll happen. And I, and I would always say, I'll believe it when I see it. That's because so many companies do make promises in order to get you to buy more machines. And then they take the promise back and it's like, oh, forget it. I'm going to be honest, and you guys can go back and check those videos out where I've talked about it. I've said multiple times, I don't believe they're coming out with anything, but I'd love to see it when it happens. And to hear you saying that it's canceled now, if that is accurate information, Johnny, uh, that's not surprising to me because that happens a lot. There were so many people who, when Tonal came out, there was another rival. I don't remember the name, but people were saying, oh, should I buy Tonal? Should I buy this one? I was like, guys, Tonal exists already. Don't buy the machine pre-order that doesn't exist. You can't trust these companies sometimes. Uh, but as you can see, you can trust the Gym Monster. You can trust Speedians. They're here. They're pumping out machines. They're constantly, like Ryan just mentioned, constantly fixing, uh, updating their software. They're not just throwing a machine out there and having you buy it. They get your money, and now they're not changing anything. No. They're actually changing things according to what the users want. And as long as they're doing that, they're good in my book. Do you guys know if they might implement the ability to publish your custom workouts uh, for others to follow? I think that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, hey, what's going on, you guys? I am a huge advocate, in case you guys don't know, of preventative care. You want to take care of problems before they happen, before you have a problem. What's one of the best ways to do that? Well, warming up properly cooling down properly, and taking steps to recover from your training optimally. (sighs) One of the best ways, in my opinion, to do that is to go check out Mueller Sports website. They have a ton of different equipment on there that can help to streamline your training when it comes to pre-workout, recovery, and post-workout care. Whether it's tapes or wraps, or whether it is their proprietary high-end compression system, the Revive Recovery Care System. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. It will help to take away inflammation, promote healing. It can help you warm up and cool down. It is a one-stop shop for preventative recovery and healing all in one device. Highly recommend you check them out today. Thank you, Mueller Sports, for sponsoring this video. You can share your workout templates through the app. There you go. Thank you very much, Whitney. Are they planning on adding more warm-ups? If you asked for it, I guarantee you they're going to give you more warm-ups. If you ask for it, they're going to give it to you. That's my thoughts on that. The fans on my machine are always on even when it's in standby. Wondering if this is normal. Uh, My machine doesn't do that. So I don't know, Ryan, maybe you can give us your thoughts, uh, your experience too. But as you guys can hear, my machine is in standby right now. And if I shut, if I, if this goes black, this, this screen, the fans will not run. When I forgot my machine, they did, however. So maybe you might need an update or something, but mine don't run. So yours don't either? No. Okay. No, only when I'm using the machine that they run. Right. Yeah, like if I throw the weight on right now, you guys will be able to hear the fans, they turn on. But now when I turn the weight off, you can hear the fans dying down. And now there's no more fans. So that might be an update that maybe this person needs. Yeah, I think so. 
Okay. Kevin Lobo. Oh, my man, Kevin from the Facebook group. Any plans to create an eccentric only mode or allow setting weight more than 50% in eccentric mode? Zero to 10 pounds, concentric, 20 to 100. That's an excellent, excellent uh, request. If it's possible, I'm sure they will do it, bro, but I don't know if there's any plans. Maybe Whitney can talk through my body in the chat there and answer that question, but uh, I cannot answer it, but that's an excellent one. Ryan, do you feel like what other customers have brought out, do you feel like Speedience is in this for the long run? What has your customer service experience been like? Because I was gifted this machine by the company, as many people know, as I'm mm -hmm. very open about telling people. You were not. You spent your money on this. How do you feel? Um, I feel really good about the customer service. You know, they um, whenever there's an issue, they address it. They, um, you know, that they, they will... I feel like they will always take care of you. They will do their best, you know, just be patient because they're based out of China. So make sure you're always just, you know, they're going to get back to you. It just takes a little bit of time because it's a different time zone. But when they get back to you, I feel like they've been fantastic. I mean, Whitney's the goat of customer service, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent right. I'm hard work. I... Like first one in the building. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. She's there working by herself right now. Well, maybe now people have come in, but she was working by herself since I don't even know what time this morning. Uh, Cause you know, in China it's the morning time, but Ryan, I just want to say it's a little off before we get to that draw. I just want to say you're looking cut up, bro. I think that, I don't know if you've been watching what you've been eating or if it's also the combined effort with the cardio mm -hmm. on the rower, but yeah. you look more cut than the last time I saw you. I'll do it. Yeah, I mean, thanks, yeah. man. I appreciate that. I thought I did. I think it's the rowing because, okay. I, like I said, I've been really hammering away with the rowing. I've been, you know, I've also been watching my diet too. So that's probably part of it as well because important diet is always necessary when you're trying to, you know, stay fit. But yeah, I think yeah. it's a combination of all that. Excellent. That's it, man. It, the thank doing you. that. Yeah, of course. No, I'm just being. I'm just being honest. Yeah. I, you got the light, the perfect lighting, and whenever you lean back, I see the cuts, and I'm like, man, this guy needs to like, bro, you need to get a YouTube channel and just show people, bro. You just need to show people, man. Yeah, I, you you know what you're doing. <laughs> Always, man. That's what, that's what I've been aiming for. I've been trying to get lean. That's why I got the rower. I was trying to, nice. you know, and once you, well, you you actually convinced me to get it because like when I was watching your videos, you were talking about it. And then when I got it, I'm like, wow, this thing's just, it, it works, you man. And I, whoever does not have it, I'm telling you, you need to get one. Ryan said it, guys. Ryan said it. There you go. Imagine if I won. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Jose, congratulations, bro. Congratulations. Congrats, man. Yeah, congratulations. Was it Jose who said that Tonal left him broke? I don't I don't remember if it was Jose. If it was Jose, well, Jose, at least you won. 